and welcome to Section 1-6 of the Attacks course, Dumpster Diving. I'm Lisa Gilbert, and I will be sharing a lot of helpful information so you can understand this type of attack and defend against it. In our discussion of dumpster diving, I will first define dumpster diving and why it's important to understand and prevent. Next, I will discuss what attackers are trying to accomplish. Then I will explain exactly who is at risk and explore the red flags and warning signs that an attack could take place. We will also explore some of the tactics used by attackers, and I will share real-life examples. Lastly, I will describe how you can protect yourself and your organization from dumpster diving attacks. Dumpster diving is completely low-tech, physical attack that involves searching through trash for information that could be used in a cyber attack. Remember that one man's trash is another man's treasure. Just because you don't need that credit card statement after you paid your bill doesn't mean that someone attempting to steal your identity wouldn't find it very useful. The same is true of your organization's intellectual property or trade secrets. What are attackers searching for in dumpster diving? Keep in mind, they are motivated enough to search through your trash, so what they're looking for must be valuable to them. In the case of a company's refuse, they may be looking for the full names of employees, business partners, and contractors. Account login credentials would be considered gold. They may also be looking for marketing information, email addresses of employees, sensitive customer or employee information, company operations information, corporate secrets, medical records, bank statements or other financial information, or technical support logs. The new year is often a treasure trove for dumpster divers because people discard old calendars and journals that may have valuable notes recorded in them. Who is at risk for a dumpster diving attack? Anyone who discards interesting trash would be at risk. What is interesting? All the things listed before. Even private individuals should not discard things like bank or credit card statements, medical bills, etc. On a corporate level, you want to make sure not to improperly discard anything that could put your organization at risk. How do you recognize the potential for a dumpster diving attack? If potential attackers have ready access to discarded information, whether it be in the form of paper records, electronic information, or hardware or storage media that would contain valuable information, you're at risk. There are several uses attackers could make of information obtained through dumpster diving. They could use any network or security information directly in a hacking attack. For example, if someone wrote down their new password in their organizer and then discarded it at the end of the year, attackers could use that to directly hack the network. They could also use any personal information obtained to conduct many of the types of attacks we've already discussed. Phishing, spear phishing, whaling, smishing, or vishing. To avoid a dumpster diving attack, it's critical to never underestimate the importance of physical security. Even for your trash, make sure to destroy any CDs or DVDs containing anyone's personal data. When you decommission a computer, be sure to delete all the data. You should make sure you have a firewall in place so attackers can't access any of your data, including discarded data. You should permanently destroy or use a cross-cut shredder to shred all paper documents. I just cleaned out our personal files, and since we have a wood stove for heat, we threw all the documents containing personal information into the fire. Nobody's going to get access to that. Make sure you have a policy for safe disposal, and your waste bins are secured in some way. In conclusion, you've learned what dumpster diving is, what objectives attackers are aiming for in dumpster diving, and who is at risk for attacks. We discussed clues indicating a dumpster diving attack, as well as what you can do to protect yourself from an attack. In the next video, we will discuss tailgating, a social engineering attack that gives bad actors physical access to your facility. I'll see you there.